Hello YouTube. So last episode's files got corrupted and they caused my laptop to crash when I tried loading them into my video editing software. I tried to do that four times by the way and every time my laptop just crashed so yeah it's not gonna work. <laughs> Sorry. I did, however, get an Arid Triceratops and an Arid Struteo Minus, that's this one. So, yeah, if you want to give them a name, feel free to suggest one in the comments and I'll use it. And there is one more unique dinosaur I can create for now let's have it load a little the alpine triceratops and I feel uh, I feel Three Triceratopses is probably enough for now, more than enough really, but yeah, then it will be like a nice herbivore exhibit with six uh, animals, which is a good number of animals. Maybe I'll get some more Shutiomimesis or Montosauruses when I can, but for now that's what I'm having. I also got, it's over here, a second power station because I don't have or I didn't have enough power after I had built my ranger station so now all is well and uh, yeah hopefully that will all work out now I wanna continue operating my uh, science division reputation and I kinda wanna also uh, up my uh, reputation with the entertainment division not really with the security division I don't want to release an animal that's not something I really want I'm keen on doing let's see if there's any fossils yeah so my goal this episode is to build a ceratosaurus exhibit yeah, I click extract. And after I have built my Ceratosaurus exhibit, I'll probably call it an episode. I can just go to Portugal. I feel like over here would be a good place to do it. To build a nice large enclosure for these big kind of dangerous carnivores oh. and then I have to select yeah electrified steel fence Yeah, I know I don't have power for the Ceratosaurus exhibit for now because the game is telling me that that is an issue. I'll curved around this way, then I can build a viewing area on the place I just built right there. Next to it, I can build the Hammond Creation Lab.
and then maybe around it I can build some more guest facilities like another fast food place you know stuff like that also you may have noticed that I'm keeping the entire thing curved I felt like that would be a good look for, on this one alright so that's our big Ceratosaurus exhibit I don't think it looks quite as good as the big herbivore exhibit but it's still a pretty neat exhibit and definitely something an animal this size could enjoy Also interesting to note is that electric fences basically transport power along their, well along their fence really, <laughs> also to buildings that, oh, I kind of underestimated how large the Hammond Creation Lab would be, <laughs> unfortunately. That will be a little bit of an issue. Oh wait, I can. No, I want to release the source inside the exhibit. I do have an idea though. If the game is willing to cooperate. And then we'll have the path run from there. Yeah, sure, I'll, uh, I'll build an ACU center later, maybe next episode, it's not really the biggest deal. Ah, money is kind of tight right now. So... Let's see if we have any fossils already. Because I can usually sell some silver or coprolites or whatever they bring back. See? <laughs> That's just the way you get money in this game. Or at least in the early stages. I'm sure that my park will start running a, an actual profit later on, but for now I just have to make money by selling stuff my fossil teams find. And I'll put some more forest here to kind of mask the Hammond Creation Lab. Because I did want that to be a forested area. And I still, oh yeah, I do have the money for a viewing gallery. And then I don't have the money for a live bait feeder yet, but I'm 100% certain that 
once I do have it, people will enjoy seeing the Ceratosaurus. Well, rip apart goats. It's kind of... That's not really animal friendly. <laughs> and I'll definitely admit it, but... It is something that the people will really enjoy seeing and... I suppose it's good for the Ceratosaurus. I think about it. I do have to have my ranchers resupply this feeder. Because that's also an important thing to do. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Apparently, the curvature works that way. Not quite the way I quite the way I had expected, but apparently it does. Also, that is a very expensive feeder. Like, I get that they bring food from underground, but still. 200,000, which is half as expensive as the, as the facility we use to create living dinosaurs. It's kind of weird, I think. But whatever, that's just the game, I guess. And then I do realize I had not been doing research. Which is kind of stupid because we do need it in this game. In fact, it's one of the most important parts. I Let's see which one is... Yeah, that's outage protection, which is also the important one. And then I can use outage protection and improved output to basically make my power stations more, how should I say, it's more powerful. I suppose that's the right term. But, and how expensive will a Ceratosaurus be? $550,000. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> I'm not making that much money with this park yet. Oh, Bandy Cam did something weird there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but just just a moment ago, Bandicap kind of messed up, I guess. Oh, and a clothes shop here. Oh yeah, that would work, but it's too expensive for now. Yeah, I am really short on money. <laughs> I really need more money in this game. So, let's see how long it will be before I have... Ah, Dick Team is returning. But it looks like I won't be having a Ceratosaurus this episode. So... Yeah. <laughs> All I can really do is promise you guys that I'll have it next episode. 
and you'll basically get to see the big cool dangerous dinosaur that everyone likes ah. and it's medium quality so it's not like amazing fossils but I like to extract all the fossils I have it's not really that useful to just sell it at least ah, fully depleted then ah. then I'll go to the Morrison formation I kind of wanted to avoid going to the Morrison formation because it would just mean Because uh, going to the Morrison formation might deplete that one, and I definitely do not want to deplete the Morrison formation. Also, I'm 100% certain I can build it here somewhere. Or are the terrain constraints? Yeah, they're really too much. So what I will do instead... Oh wait, no, then it wouldn't have power and then it would also be difficult. So I have to do a little landscaping first. I hope that's gonna work. So I'll basically be flattening out this terrain in nonetheless the hopes that it'll work and that I'll be able to build my clothes shop there because that's something I really want to do. <laughs> yeah, clothes shop. Yay, that works. Alright, so I'll just have the clothes shop be the end of the episode for now. Next episode, I'll be finalizing everything for the Serratosaurus exhibit. So yeah, see you later.